Hey guys, it's Jen and welcome back to my channel. Today is all about Disney Vacation Club and more specifically, we're gonna talk about right of first refusal or ROFER is what I like to call it. I don't know if that's what everybody calls it. Anyway, I'm really glad that you're here. So if you are just starting on your journey of looking into Disney Vacation Club, you might not even heard of Right of First Refusal yet. And if that's you, I would go ahead and refer you to my playlist that is just chock full of information about buying and selling Disney Vacation Club. So I'm gonna put that link right here. Feel free to head on over there and get kind of a basic working knowledge. But some of you are a little further in the process and you've started to hear this term, Right of First Refusal, and all you may know about it is that it means it takes a little bit longer if you're gonna buy a contract on the resale market but today I want to explain it to you I'm gonna tell you what it is and what it isn't and how it can actually be a good thing whether you're buying or selling so first of all, I wanna let you know that today's video is being sponsored by our great friends at DVC by Resale. Chantelle and her team are the DVC experts. They are licensed, they are wonderful to work with, they are filled with integrity and knowledge, and they will walk you through the entire process. We have actually been through two separate transactions with them. We have always been very happy with the entire team over there, and I will put all of their information in the description below. So I'm gonna start this by saying what right of first refusal is not. <laughs> right of first refusal does not mean that Disney is going to buy back your timeshare. In fact, if you Google, as I did yesterday, does Disney buy back my timeshare? It is a resounding no, and that is coming directly from the Disney Vacation Club website. What they will do is tell you to go find a licensed resale broker, list your contract, and then they, meaning the licensed resale broker, will help you find a buyer and you will enter into negotiations. Disney is not in the resale business and they will not buy back your timeshare. So although you may see a lot of disinformation information about that. See what I did there? Disinformation. It is actually untrue and Disney will not have anything to do with you selling your timeshare. You need to do that through a broker. What it does do, however, is maintain the value. And as an owner, that really does mean a lot to me. So because it's a little complicated, I decided to tell it as a story time. So welcome to Rofer Storytime with Jen. Rofer, that's what we're gonna call it because that's a lot easier to say than write a first refusal. This is Fred. Frank and Maria. Frank is a speech pathologist and Maria is in sales and they love Walt Disney World and they have their heart set on a December UCR 100 point contract at the Beach Club. Now I'd like you to meet Emily. Emily is a radiologist. She actually owns three DVC contracts, but she has her heart set on this beautiful dream home and she needs a little bit of extra cash for that down payment. So she's decided to sell a 100 point beach club contract with guess what? A December use year. Emily has listed her timeshare with DVC by resale. And Frank and Maria have gone onto the website and seen the listing. So they clicked buy now. Emily agreed on the selling price. Frank and Maria agreed on the buying price. They had a deal and everyone lived happily ever after, except for not quite. The next thing that happens is the contract is sent to Disney for right of first refusal. Now, Disney at this point has 30 days to either decide they would like to purchase that 100 point contract or they will waive their right of first refusal. Uh, we've actually purchased three contracts resale. We've never had Disney exercise their right of first refusal. They've always waived it. I will tell you they are far more likely to exercise it if it is priced well below market value, so be very wary of that. Uh, and there's a variety of different reasons why Disney might choose to buy it back. But if they decide that they want to buy it, Emily, guess what? She has still sold her timeshare. But instead of selling it to Frank and Maria, she has now sold it to Disney. So Emily's good. The minute she decides to list her contract and an offer is made and accepted, then her timeshare, one way or the other, is going to sell. However, Frank and Maria are gonna have to now go find another contract, but never fear, Frank and Maria. I know that Chantelle and her team will be able to find you a new contract in no time, and I'm sure it will get through the right of first refusal process. Now, those 30 days when Disney has that contract and you're waiting can be a little, 
what's the word, maddening. I think I need to do a whole separate video of activities one can engage with while one is waiting for Rofer. <laughs> <laughs> because it, it can seem like an eternity. It seems way longer than 30 days when you're walking through it. But I can promise you that it is a good thing for all of us because we want that value to stay there. And we're all very happy that the resale value of Disney Vacation Club timeshares is far higher than any other company. And that is because of the Disney name and because of what they do to ensure that the value stays there. That's right of first refusal. It's one of those things that sounds really complicated, but really isn't. And all it really means is that Disney has first dibs. So I would like to say congratulations to Emily for selling her contract. Frank and Maria, I can't wait to hear about the contract that you end up buying. These aren't real people, so I don't exactly know who I'm talking to right now. But at the end of the day, it is one of those things that you enter into with eyes wide open and understanding the process, hopefully with someone who really knows what they're doing, holding your hand. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I do have one more ask before I sign off. If you would please, Chantelle and I are actually gonna be together next month and we're going to be recording a video and we would like to answer your questions. So whatever Disney Vacation Club questions you have, will you please put those in the comment section below? Chantelle and I will try to get to as many of those as we can when we're together next month. And I can't wait for that very special q and I think it's gonna be really awesome. Thank you for watching this video today. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Have a great day. Be good to each other and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.